Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black and this is my preview for the Burton game on Saturday. Another big game as we come to this crunch time of the season. After the game there will only be eight games left. If Wolves can stretch their lead or can maintain their lead, you'd have to feel that you know with so little games to go we would be nearly there. Nearly there. There's about three or four more wins I think and we'll, we'll almost definitely be promoted. I think 90 points would be the target for everybody at the moment and we're coming in on that. Um, I think before the Reading game there was a lot of discussion about team news and players coming in and out and there were the most changes we'd seen before any game uh, yet this season with Bennett, Sace, Afobi and Costa all coming into the starting eleven and all staking a claim to make a start again on Saturday. I think the game against Burton has as much importance as the Villa game or the Reading game for us. That's why, if you watched my video from last week, before the Villa game, it was a much bigger game for them. And you could see after the game the way they reacted. And I don't want to keep on talking about the Villa game. You know, Every game for us now is important and every game is a chance to get three points and to get three points closer to promotion. As for Burton, they've been struggling down the bottom of the table for most of the season. And it's going to be a push for them to manage to stay in the division. I think they've got to win their home games and try and pick up the odd point away from home. And I think tomorrow they will just come and sit 10 men behind the ball like we've seen Sunderland do and like we saw Reading do. Reading almost on Tuesday night just wanted to keep the score less than four or five. I thought it was quite an embarrassing performance really from a team as big as Reading. Um, but Burton, you wouldn't blame them to come and set up like that. I think if they come out and try and play football, Wolves are good enough to pick them off and a point for Burton in this game would be fantastic for them and they, and they they take it now. We've got to look out for Darren Bent as well, uh, who's there. Uh, old ageing striker but still has scored a few goals against us in the past and c could be quite dangerous in a game like this. I think providing that Wolves are professional in their approach to the game on Saturday that we should see a positive result and I'm not worried about any other results at the moment, I think, so long as we look after ourselves for the next few games, then we'll get the result that we want at the end of the season. Of course, it's international weekend next weekend, so there's a bit of a break between the games. Uh, Ruben Neves will be going off with Portugal again, the full Portugal senior team, to play, and hopefully he gets minutes. And Of course, this is the last real international break before the summer where the World Cup is, so there is a possibility that Ruben Neves could be going off to the World Cup, which would be fantastic to... I mean, and there'll be Sace as well. Looks like he'll be going with Morocco, and you know there could be a couple of others as well with their uh, their national teams. But the discussion that was being brought up that I've seen on Twitter is that when Gareth Southgate came in, he said that he would good, he was going to be picking players who are in form, regardless of their team. He was going to be picking informed players, which we've heard England managers say in the past, but. He hasn't stuck to that because you've still got players like Jake Livermore playing when you've got somebody like James Madison at Norwich who is a fantastic footballer with great potential but he's in the under-21s. Why not give James Madison a go in these international friendlies? You look at Ruben Neves, he's in the second tier, albeit he's had a fantastic season and he's done really, really well and probably does deserve to be in the senior team for Portugal. Uh, probably He's probably quite a way behind the players who are actually in those positions, but he's certainly in the mix um, and possibly Premier League football next season could be a starting player for Portugal. But I just want to throw it open to you. Is there any other players in the Championship that you would be giving a call-up to the England squad for? Not necessarily putting them in the squad, but we don't see any players at all from the Championship now in the England squad or anywhere near it. So let me know if there are any other Championship players that you've seen this season that you would think should be given a little nod. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure to check out some of the other channels that I'm involved in. And I'll see you after the Burton game on Saturday. Bye-bye.